Hi everybody, I'm Raymond Francis. Let's talk about salmon. Salmon is a fish that is rich in nutrients, including omega-3 fatty acids, and salmon is being increasingly marketed as a healthy food. In fact, salmon consumption is now three times higher than it was in 1980. Now, while salmon was a good food historically, that's simply no longer the case. The oceans are now so polluted that eating fish more than once a month is risky. Making matters even worse, most salmon is farmed. Unfortunately, about 70% of the salmon on the market is farmed. And almost half the wild salmon on the market is actually farmed. So you go to the, to the store and you buy wild salmon, half of that is really farmed salmon. It's phony. Um, wild salmon, of course, is toxic enough now because of the polluted oceans, but farmed salmon is over the top. Now here's what a prominent biologist, Dr. Ann Lisa Monson, had to say. I'm going to quote her. I do not recommend pregnant women, children, or young people to eat farmed salmon. The type of contaminants that have been detected in farmed salmon have a negative effect on the brain. Negative effect on brain development and is associated with autism, ADD, HDHD, reduced IQ. We also know that they can affect other organ systems in the body's immune system and metabolism. So that's what an expert had to say, and she's saying, don't eat this stuff, don't feed it to kids, for sure. Farm salmon is actually low in the good stuff. It contains about only half the omega-3 fatty acids of wild salmon. And at the same time, it's low in the good stuff, it's high in the bad stuff because they feed contaminated food to the farm salmon. So it's high in cancer-causing PCBs, high in dioxins, as well as other toxins. For example, the PCB concentration in farm salmon is 16 times higher than wild salmon. The dioxin level is 11 times higher than wild salmon. I mean, this is crazy. Don't eat farmed salmon. In addition to PCBs and dioxins, farmed salmon is also rich in inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids, also high in mercury and synthetic pigments and antibiotics and other drugs and chemicals. Then there's synthetic um, astatancin, um, uh, and this is used to color the, the salmon. Uh, and because of the unnatural diet fed to the salmon, it has a you know it has a gray color. So you have to add this dye in order to give it the pinkish color. But the dye is harmful. It's synthetic. It's it's never been approved for human consumption by any government. So I do not eat farm salmon, and I recommend that you avoid it as well. If you do eat salmon, eat only wild salmon, and then make sure it's wild salmon. Uh, and then don't do it more than once a month. Keep in mind, however, that almost half of the wild salmon in the stores and the restaurants is actually fraudulently labeled as wild salmon when it's really farmed. So be careful to know your source. You know, fish has always been a rich source of essential fatty acids, EFAs. But fish is no longer safe. This is one more reason why I recommend that everyone supplement with a high quality EFA formula. Essential fatty acids are critical building blocks for cell membranes. You cannot be healthy without an adequate supply of EFAs, and about 90% of all Americans are woefully deficient. So you need to supplement, um, and eating fish used to be a good idea, uh, but today, salmon is really not a good idea. It's very toxic, and most of it is farmed, and you don't want to go there. So, just a word of warning. Thank you very much for listening. Be in good health and enjoy.